we have here two sets of data. This set over here is even, so that means there's an even number of scores, there's 10, and this is an odd number of scores, which is 9. The reason I have these two sets side by side is to show you the different way in which we approach them for finding the upper and lower quartiles as well as the median or quartile 2. I'll work with the odd numbers first because we've done these before and then I'll show you how it's different with the even numbers. So firstly we have 9 scores and we want to find the median or Q2. So we'll do that, Q2. We have 9 scores so what we do is we go 9 plus 1 divided by 2 equals 5. So we're looking for the fifth score in this odd set of data. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is this 11. So it's equal to 11. Straightforward. Now we're going to find the lower quartile, quartile 1. Now quartile 1 has to lie down here in that set of data there. Notice that we don't include the middle number. We don't include the median when we have an odd set of scores. Now to find the lower quartile, we now notice that we've got an even set of scores. So what we do is we do the same thing. We take the, f we say 4, because there's 4 of them, plus 1 divided by 2. And that's going to come out to be 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So we're looking for the 2.5 score. Well, we don't have 2.5. We've got a 2 and a 3. So the 2.5 score is going to be the average of that 8 and 9. So the average of 8 and 9 is 8.5. And, and that's our lower quartile. Now, for our upper quartile, once again, we leave the median out. Okay? And then what we do is, same deal, we've got four scores. Even though they're called 6, 7, 8, 9, we've only got four of them. So what we do is we take Q3 equals 4 plus 1 over 2 equals 2.5. Now I've done this again for you but it should always be the same equation. Q1 and Q3 should always be the same. So we're looking for the 2.5 score. Now because we don't have 1, 2, 3, 4 written there, you could write them if you like, but we're just going to count them. 1, 2, 3, well these are going to be the middle two, so we take a half of, uh, sorry, add 11 and 11 together, find the middle, so the median is going to be not the median, sorry, the upper quartile is going to be 11. Okay, so when we have an even set of scores, uh, same deal to find quartile 2. We just take the total number of scores, which is 10, plus 1, divided by 2. And that's going to give us the 5 and a half <laughs> score. That's what we're looking for. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the 5.5 score is going to be the average of these two here. Okay? And the average of 11, 11 is just 11. Now we're going to find the lower quartile. Always do it in this order, it's always easier. Quartile 1. Now, this is where it's different to the odds. What we do is we divide the scores into two lots. Over here we just kept the median out of it all together for finding the upper upper and lower quartiles. But here when we've got an even set of scores we just divide them in two. I say the quartile one is going to be, because we've got five scores, is going to be five plus one divided by two which is equal to three so we're looking for the third score, and the third score is this number 9 here. So quartile 1 is 9. Same deal for quartile 3. We have 5 scores here, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're looking for the 5 plus 1 divided by 2. We're also looking for the third score, 
and the third score in this case is one, two, three. It's the eight. So our upper quartile is equal to eleven. 